Getting ready for a day to head out ice fishing on Leech Lake. Uh, you can see all my gear right here for the day. This is going to be the gear that you can wear from anything from 40 below to 40 above, 50 above, whatever. Um, and what I'm wearing right now is not what I'm going to want for a day on the ice uh, because it's got a lot of cotton in it. Cotton acts as a sponge. It absorbs moisture. And the key to warmth and comfortability is actually being able to be dry and match the level of the temperature and your level of activity outside. So here I have uh, my suit, which will be the last piece of our equation. Um, but right now what we're gonna start out with is we're gonna start out with our base layer, our next to skin. This is a um, a, a moisture transfer piece. You want that right on your skin. You want it to not absorb moisture like denim and like t-shirts um, that have cotton in it. That actually tends to absorb the moisture. Uh, this is actually going to wick the moisture away. It's going to spread it out and it's going to make it uh, make you make you stay dry. So that's going to be your next to skin base layer. The next layer that you're going to want is something that's a little heavier weight. It has a brushed fleece interior, super comfortable, but this would be your, maybe your uh, zero to 25 degree day that you would wear this. So we're gonna put that on today because it's a little cooler. And then you have your heavyweight base layer. Now this is gonna be your sub-zero um, and aptly named, this is actually our sub-zero base layer. So we have a pant, we have a top that goes with it. This traps a ton of air, it's also, um, moisture wicking so it's not going to actually trap any moisture that's going to keep you dry dry equals comfortable uh, that's going to be for your extremely cool days um, when we go down the line we also have um, socks socks are extremely important you have a liner sock that you wear that wicks the, wicks the moisture you also have a heavier weight merino wool blend sock that traps air that's actually going to keep you um, a little bit warmer on those really frigid days gloves we have a liner glove we also have our heavyweight insulated exterior glove that's windproof, waterproof, um, and breathable. And then we have neckwear. Mid, uh, lightweight uh, gaiter. And then we have the heavier weight with the fleece interior for providing that extra warmth around your neck and keeping your uh, face warm. Suits. Let's not forget about suits. Flexibility in suits is great. These particular suits are, are, this is our Ascent, and our Ascent has a lot of flexibility. It has removable insulation in it so that you can actually dress for your day in just your outerwear. You can take your fleece liner out and have a flotation shell. That's great, that's a lot of flexibility that'll keep you covered on your coldest day or your warmest day and still leave you with the safety of the flotation membrane. Our bibs, we also operate with the same system. You can actually take out your insulation on the bib, remove this, and now you have a flotation actual shell and you have a bib that's ready for your coldest day when we first start out in the morning. Boots, got a heavyweight boot, you got your liner socks, a removable liner, keeping your feet warm is reliant on keeping them dry. If you wear a liner sock for your warmer days and then just wear your boot, you're in good shape. If it's a colder day, you're gonna wear your liner sock, then you're gonna wear your heavyweight sock, um, we have a wool blend sock, and then you're gonna wear your boot. That's gonna be incredibly comfortable out on the ice. Um, and it's gonna allow you to, to fish in any, any temperature you can imagine. And now we're gonna get ready for our day. So now we've been out on the lake for a little while, the temperature conditions have gone up. It's, uh, it's an incredible day out. Um, so I'm, I'm actually going the opposite direction as far as layering goes. I just took the liner out of my jacket. Um, I still got to have the windproof shell on here. Uh, I took off the heavy, the um, really heavy layer um, of my base layer. But now what I'm doing is I'm matching the conditions 
um, that have been presented. So remember when you're uh, when you're preparing for your day outside, layer appropriately, maybe it's three, maybe it's two, uh, whatever the weather conditions are gonna call for. But when you layer appropriately, that's gonna offer you a much more enjoyable day out there because your comfort level is gonna match whatever the conditions are outside.